Hello and welcome to my studio today for the third of these three short talks for Lent. I want to talk about a painting I made a few years ago, it's an abstract, and it's called Hope. And there's something that we could all do with at the moment, probably at every moment. The bright focal point in the composition of this painting is set against a darker background. It's purplish black to the left and reddish on the right. If you look more closely, you'll see that it's made up of complex layers of transparent pigment. It starts with a black base, over which everything else is glazed. Purple hangs over it like a mist. While the red area seems nearest to us, it's intense and immediate. Last week I told you how much I like to make paintings using colour symbolically. When I started to make this painting, I already had the word I wanted to work with, but no expectation where the colour would take me. It's always exciting when the painting starts to reveal what I want to say. The red area speaks of the dynamic of human emotion, whether that's pain or anger, despair or desire. We sometimes talk about suffering as if it happens to people. But of course, suffering happens in people. It's the reaction to our circumstances which can overwhelm us and drain us of hope. One way of reading the background, then, is to see the left-hand side as showing the frightening depth of reality and the right-hand side as showing our human reaction to its threat. Into the darkness, though, hope comes like a gift. Look closely, you'll see not just different colours, the pure white and the orangey pinks, but also different ways of applying the paint. The white is thick. It's been wiped onto the panel in a single gesture, whereas the flames have a liquid, leaping quality. And you'll see that the upward arc of white paint doesn't grow seamlessly out of the red. The meeting point is very defined. Hope comes to us in our need. We have to open ourselves to the gift, not let our feelings close us off to it. Of course we rejoice when sad or difficult circumstances change for the better, but hope doesn't depend on things working out as we would like them to. It comes from a living connection to God. And this connection sometimes upsets things still further. When Christ turns out the money changers from the temple, it's his vision of God's house as a place of brilliant light and hope that causes him to upset the established order. The flame we see in Christ, it's not human fury, it's divine zeal, a fiery ardour, and it brings new life and hope. Amidst the threats surrounding us, which we're sometimes trapped by, my picture offers a resting place in that zealous flame, supported by the pure white gift of hope.